Previous versions of XI or Photo focused entirely on photos, but now we also offer features so you can keep your videos organized and accessible right alongside your image files. You can actually filter specifically for video formats, and then we also offer a high quality video player. You have the player here. I can go forward and backwards. I can hit the space bar to start and stop the video. And what's really cool here is that Xire analyzes a representative frame from each video you import, and Xire will apply keywords and an aesthetic score automatically, the same way it does for photos. I'm excited to share with you Xire's AI powered culling feature. This is brand new in photo 2025. And with the help of Xire's culling tools, selecting your best photos is astonishingly fast. And you even have the option to configure Xire so it automatically selects and rejects photos for you based on your chosen criteria. Let me show you how this works. On the left hand side here, you're going to go to this new tab, Culling Projects. If you click here, to get started culling a batch of photos, you're going to actually need to create what we call culling projects. So you go ahead and click this plus icon and then here you're going to choose the folder or collection you want to cull. Once Xire has finished its culling analysis, you'll see that it's grouped your images based on different characteristics. For instance, the people. If you click on this people collection here, you can see the people that are present in the photo shoot. The visual similarity group is also very cool because it lets you see photos categorized in terms of visual themes. I'll also mention that you know you can group by capture date. These were all taken on the same day, so you just have one group. There's sequences which can be useful where you're looking at images that were taken within a small period of time of one another, so essentially bursts of photos. I want to mention that you have here a selection bin and then a, re a recycle bin or a reject bin based on which images have been given accept or reject flags. Now having your images grouped this way will automatically speed up the culling process because you can just quickly look at all the groups of say visually similar images and then you can just flag the best one or two from each group for editing or to send to a client or to post on social media or to print or whatever. And I also want to mention here, what's really, really cool is that I can sort each of these groups by my preferred criteria. So if we come back to visual similarity here, um, if I go in here, I can say that I want to quickly see the best shots by sorting up here by aesthetics. So Xire's Aesthetics AI feature is going to, to uh, have applied uh, aesthetic scores to each image, and then the program will sort based on those. So I see the most aesthetic images first. I can also choose this Further Attributes tab, which can be very cool for choosing specific attributes that I want to sort by. So maybe I want to see the image that has the sharpest eyes or the sharpest faces. Um, I can just click these and then the, these collections will automatically be ordered according to that attribute where the sharpest come first and then the decreasing sharpness, the, the blurrier images come last. So say I choose eye sharpness from this batch and then I'm going to say eyes open as well. So I want to see images that have combined both sharpness on the eyes and then eyes open and then I get top result a very nice image and as you can see the face is sharp but if you want to actually check face sharpness if you say I, I'm not actually sure well the color of this box around the face the green color indicates that it is indeed sharp whereas an orange or a red box would indicate poor sharpness and I can also, by the way, hold the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac. And then if I press an arrow key, it's going to just quickly zoom in so I can check face sharpness. 
Have you ever wished that you could instantly locate photos of specific people in your Xire catalog? In other words, images containing a specific family member, a friend, a photo shoot client, or a colleague? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that using Xire's People Search tool. And in Xire Photo 2025, I'm excited to share with you several handy new features for identifying and tagging people so you can easily group photos that contain specific people and then find them again later. Now, to use this tool, you're going to need an initial reference image so Xire understands who you're searching for. So here I'm going to start with this image, this woman in a red dress. I know there are other images of this woman in my catalog, but I'm not sure exactly where they're located and I want to see all of them. So to use the Find People tool, you're gonna to need to start by selecting the photo that you want to use as your reference image. And then you can choose to come up here and click the Find People icon, or this is even easier, you can just press this little Find People icon in the upper right hand corner of the individual thumbnails. So you go ahead and you click that, and then you'll see the Find People dialog box, which has your reference image. And the subject's face should be indicated within this box here. Now, when you're searching for photos of a specific person, you can choose to filter based on various features. So you can say you only want images where the person is smiling or where they have their eyes open. You can also filter by keywords. And you can tell Xire to look for photos of that person that aren't tagged with specific keywords. And that can be useful when looking for photos in your collection that haven't yet been tagged with a name, which I'll talk about in a second, and that you want to find so that you can then tag them. Now, you can even specify a distance limit here. So you can tell Xire whether you want the program to look for faces that are exactly like the one in the reference image by moving the slider in this direction, or whether you want the program to be broader in its search. So then you would, you would choose a, a loose distance limit. I'm just going to go back and reset this. I can also choose to increase the maximum amount of results I want Xire to show me. Um, so if I had tons of images of this person in my catalog, I might want to bump this up. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at 100. And I want to tell Xire where the program should search. In my case, I'm going to search in the whole database, but I could look in the current view or in specific folders or collections. So here we go. I'm going to start my search. And then as you can see, Xire did a great job of returning dozens of images of this woman in different outfits and poses. And that's exactly what I wanted. But here's the thing. No facial recognition software is perfect. So what if I want to quickly identify which photos actually feature the person that I'm looking for? And what if I want to store all those images that I have of a specific person in a single collection so that I can see them later on. Well, that's where our new tools come in handy. On the right hand side, we have this faces tab. And here you can actually tell Xire to zoom in on all the faces so you can clearly see which face an image contains. So if I toggle this on, the faces are zoomed in and you can check and say, okay, is that the person that I'm looking for? I also have the option to toggle this zoom faces on hover feature. So then the faces don't automatically zoom in unless I hover my cursor over the images, in which case you then see the magnified image. And when you select an image, you're going to actually see the face appear on the right hand side. If an image has multiple faces, you'll see all of the faces that Xire identifies on the right hand side. And what's really cool is that you can add names. So I could select all of these images, and then I can say that these are images of Trish. And I go ahead and hit the Enter key. And now, over here, you'll see my selected Trish images have appeared in this automatic people collection. And that can just be really cool for sorting images of people and making sure that they're always up to date, that my collections are always tagged as I want them to be.